Welcome back. March is Women's History Month. I caught up with one female soldier who's playing her way through the ranks. Meet Command Sergeant Major Deborah McGarity. Soldiers can go anywhere within today's Army. I came from a small town, small school. Um, never would have dreamed that I'd be here right now. In a constantly growing and rapidly changing force, more and more jobs and duty positions are being held by women throughout the service. All I, all I think about is making sure that I do the best job I can here every day. Command Sergeant Major McGarity has hit the big time. She has the distinction of being the first female enlisted leader of the United States Army Band Perishing Zone. And even in her new role, she'll still play the clarinet. I want to maintain communication, maintain that relationship with the members of the band so, so that I still feel like I'm a part of it. You know, I, I don't want to just be a part of the command staff, I want to be a part of of the everyday. She began her Army career in 1977 as a member of the U.S. Army Ceremonial Band. Since then, she has been a featured soloist with the concert band and the orchestra. It's been quite a career for me. Of course, I still have a little, little longer to go, but it's been a, just an amazing career. You couldn't work at a better place. You, you really couldn't. You couldn't find better people. The United States Army Band is made up of 270 active duty musicians and support staff who perform more than 5,000 missions annually. How does she do it? Being able to multitask. <laughs> Whether she's making history or lifting the spirits of her audience, Command Sergeant Major McGarity says that staying in tune with her soldiers and the mission is the high note of her career. Sergeant Earl Scott. Just, you know, take it a day at a time. Fort Myer, Virginia.